How are you doing? Um, confrontation between the United States and China is in danger of reaching cautionary zone because Pelosi, the Speaker of the House of the United States, visited Taiwan and went ahead with diplomacy with the President of Taiwan this time. So the real intention of both the United States and China wants to avoid serious political conflicts each other as much as possible. During the time Ukraine situation and forecast of world economy are really, really unstable. So because Biden, the president of the United States, will have the upcoming midterm election and Xi Jinping, the president of China, will have the Chinese Communist Party before long, they will not be able to make any political concessions each other. At the meeting with uh, Tsai Yangwen, the president of Taiwan, Pelosi mentioned, like, we visited Taiwan to make our stand clear not to abandon our responsibility for Taiwan. The Speaker of the House of the United States visited Taiwan for, for the first time in 25 years. And Pelosi aimed for uh, attracting international community with the sudden visiting to Taiwan resulted in success. So on the other hand, on the other hand, Biden didn't support her visiting Taiwan initially. So he clearly mentioned that at least U.S. Army didn't think that Pelosi's visiting Taiwan was the best judgment. While the United States is preoccupied with Ukraine invasion by Russia and countermeasure against crucial inflation economy in the world, it doesn't want to increase a new source of conflict anymore. So, However, his position is getting more and more difficult because if Biden, if Biden intervened in Pelosi's movement deeply, China would take this situation as like the United States gave in to China. And there's a possibility that uh, Biden may result in giving ammunition to opposition Republican Party because of, because of the fact of intervention to Pelosi. So Sullivan, the presidential aide, gave a warning to China like, in if China uses, uses the fact of Pelosi's visiting Taiwan in the pretext of aggressive movement, aggressive attack to Taiwan, the responsibility for expansion of emergency situation around Taiwan will be attributed to China. As China intimidated, like it took aggressive countermeasure against Pelosi's visit Pelosi's visit to Taiwan before, beforehand, China started, uh, started live firing practices around air territory over, over the southwest and southeast sea of Taiwan. And John F. Corby, NFC coordinate, co co coordinator for st strategic, strategic communications, emphasized that uh, the relation between the U.S. and China is one of the most important relations in the world. And the President of the United States hopes to maintain a chance to talk to Xi Jinping, the President of China. However, the opposition Republican Party of the United States has started drawing up a line that supports Taiwan to buy uh, weapons newly from the United States. So, most, but most Democratic countries in the world show a strong understanding of maintenance of Taiwan's independent uh, democratic political stance, demo democratic political system with the support of the United States. But it is still skeptical. It is still skeptical about the problem of whether the United States will seriously uh, provide military assistance for self-defense of Taiwan in case of emergency because there is no you know, there's no security agreement between United States and Taiwan, like, you know, Japan-U.S. security treaty. And Taiwan also doesn't join in NATO. 
So, but there's surely Taiwan Relations Act in the United States that that enact re regulations regarding uh, Taiwan's national security, but it does it doesn't clearly mention the specific military assistance to Taiwan. So there's a possibility that you know, Japan may fall victim to emergency in Taiwan directly. So Taiwan shouldn't expect too much uh, cooperative attitude of the United States for the reason that nobody knows how seriously the United States protects Taiwan from China.